Hello friends, welcome back to Bad Publicity. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> at least you recognize it, that's good. Um, closing in, now we're, we're kind of on the home stretch. We have the neutral blue backers, or corporations, as they like to be called. I think everybody calls them blue backers. Blue backers. Yeah. Blue backers. Um, very powerful set coming up here. Very, uh, very eclectic. Very, uh, very interesting. If we're to foreshadow, I think these cards are pretty good. <laughs> Maybe even give them more than a two. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give me. <laughs> All right, That's well. The old D. <laughs> anything to say about neutrals before we get into it? Um, um, overall, overall, it was pretty good. I don't like a lot of stuff got used. A lot of stuff is still in use and will see use. So yeah. This, this is, could be very misleading because he seemed to like the shaper cards and then gave him the two. <laughs> so I'm gonna refrain to well, do his well, overall. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, let's start off. Every corporation uh, needs to be based on their agendas. So this neutral agenda, we have profiteering, the three one, score profiteering, take three bad pub, five dollars for each bad publicity taken. I remember somebody exploiting this card. This was a money maker. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know if you're really going to uh, see it outside of that uh, super kill, all one pointer Jinteki kind of building, but. Uh, uh, Wayland too. Nord Runner, I think, has this in his uh, in his new Genteki kill deck. Because uh, yeah, money's irrelevant. He just cares about cards and brain damage. Yeah, but I watched him play it. He was like, score profiteering, take fifteen bucks, and it basically paid for his whole <clears throat> game. <laughs> yeah, the um, the the use is definitely, I think, in Genteki, or if people were playing more of a inviting NBN, you know, like, remember that Damon Stone interview back in the day that, you know, he said NBN is not supposed to, to end the run, it's supposed to let you through and trace and tax you and stuff like that, um, but this, uh, this, this one here, it's a lot of bad publicity that you're, that yeah. you're taking in any, in any other build. It's, shouldering a ton of it. So we you all have know to that you guys it. love bad publicity. <laughs> Can you add that like spark in my teeth? Ding! <laughs> <laughs> it's uh This fights with Gila hands. And a lot of people love oh, them yeah. some Gila, Gila hands. Gila hands is Gila hands is making first. a big comeback in a very big way. I like all the decks I see is Gila hands, Gila hands, Gila hands. I yeah, I don't know if you know, other than Injun Techie, I don't know if this is gonna be in a an agenda that I'm I'm taking anywhere else. I didn't. I didn't include it as my one-off in any other faction. Um, I used the one-pointers that are faction-specific yeah. rather than... You have to not this. care about that bad pub, basically. I, as a general rule, hate for three for ones. <laughs> I would much rather score a five for two or a five for three. So, you know, very, uh, very build-specific card. Um, it's neutral, though. Yeah. Mm, that's cool. It would suck if it was one faction. Yeah, that was because a that's, card. that's you're pretty much got getting dumped on in faction, but uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's home in Jinteki, uh, where you're trying to get them to pop their traps and yeah, it's definitely better than the next one. <laughs> oh. Leaps and bounds, get it? Because yeah. it's, it's cause you get it because she's a war amp yeah. veterans. <laughs> oh. <laughs> veterans program. Um, when you score it, you may remove two bad publicity. So maybe if you only took two with the first one, you can now remove them with the second one. But uh... now you're now you've spent six <laughs> so clicks much. worth of stuff to gain fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> two, like, two and a half turns. <laughs> so where oh. would you where would you rate this? Okay, like. The other bad pubs we've already gone through. You saw witness protection, yeah, uh, or, or witness tampering. Was it Elizabeth Mills? Yeah. All the elicks. Uh, illicit. <laughs> <laughs> um, where do you think that this ranks in bad publicity removal? Uh, I don't know. I guess on par with the rest of it, it's all bad. You're the guy who hates bad publicity, so yeah. Okay, but, I, but I'll just choose not to the, take it. Yeah, that's right. The thing. Yeah, so I mean, 
I don't know, man. I think that's. I think that says it all. It's like if you're willing to take it, you're gonna take it. Yeah, and then you're probably gonna build to not have to really worry about having it that much. But at the end of the day, Blue Sun is gonna be out in a couple months, and everybody's just gonna run Elizabeth Mill and then remove all their bad pub. They're gonna play profiteering and then play Elizabeth Mill, bounce it, Elizabeth Mill, bounce it, Elizabeth Mill, bounce it. Now, no, no, uh, no harm, no foul. Hmm. Seems like a lot of work, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lot of work. It's a click to remove a bad publicity. It's insane. It's mad powerful. Mad skills. Okay. Okay. So, how would you rank this one as removing bad pub? Oh, I hate veterans program. That's it. I'd rate it at like a low, low number. Probably like... like you have to remember this. Building that James Techie with all of the three for ones, this was the only one that you really hated having. Oh, I, I I know you know yeah. I'm yeah. not I'm not fighting against it. No, just, I know. But I, you know that's being, the feeling of it. Like being having, on a show, we should kind yeah. of elaborate a no, little I know. more. But taking like in a deck, taking every three for one you could, including one that you love, which gives you three, and one that also gets rid of it. You still hated the one that gets rid of it. It's like why do I even have this in here? I think Fantasy Flight made a giant. Like this is one of the things that I'll say I think is a mistake. They may they thought people would run more three for ones with the lower scale abilities like this. And yeah. now you could see with the new ones that they're they're but I mean like everybody has a better three for two. Like I would always rather run and I hate it, but brain trust. I would always run a brain trust over this. Because yeah. it's the same thing. It's a it's a useless ability on two cards, but Brain Trust is giving me two points. You know what I mean? It's not... They're, they're finally rectifying their mistake by making the three-for-ones probably the best agendas to... Like, the best abilities. Yeah, I'm assuming right? what is it? Philotic Entanglement? And yeah. Stuff like that, right? Philotic Entanglement is a three-for-two oh, it's a three-for-two, yeah. But we're talking House about... House of Knives. Like House of Knives is yeah, a three-for-one, yeah. which is so good. Yeah, probably and then, good. And then we're looking at the... the the Rainbow Bridge uh, thing for Hosmyroid. three for it's a three for one that lets you shoot off an agenda ability that you've already scored. Oh, that's cool! So you can throw out more ABTs or any like it's so good, right? Like that's a good three for one. The NBN one, the three for one that you can reinstall, resed any card out of your archives. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Oh, you got rid of my sand sand? Yeah. yeah, I'll just pull it back I in. Mean, if, you know, it, 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 if we were looking at the design of this card, would you, like, how... W what kills you the most about this card? Is it is it the three-for-one ability, like, the three-for-one in general? You don't... It should have been a two-for-one. Or would you... What if it was removed... But it would be too if, good. What if it was three bad publicity? I think the bad publicity, like... It's, like it's irrelevant. Corp said, is irrelevant. Yeah. Like... I don't play with bad publicity, so I won't use it. And if I'm whaling, I'll just play, play it. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, play, plan. You said it, it you. before. You thought it was going to be the bad publicity set, and it just turned out that nobody really cared about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it just didn't work out that way. I like the fact though that it is, uh, it is a bad publicity removal that's neutral. So if you really do need to get rid of it, you do have a way and. You know, it can be shared amongst the factions. Yes. So, if you want to build a deck that's mm. going to take it on, then yeah, there's another decent way to get it mm. off, right? While mm. still winning the game. Mm. I mean, now that's with it. now with fast track, like you can include one of these in almost any faction to kind of like stop the shenanigans that you do with your uh, blackmail. Blackmail. Stuff. Not that it's huge, but I mean, like you could pull out, you could fast track it, mm. and then if they take it, it's only worth one. Yeah. yeah. But then we're talking about janky, janky, janky jazz right now. Well, let's let me let me flip this for you. All right. Because I'm gonna drop an NA. He's dropping an N bomb. PD <laughs> contract as the next neutral agenda and last one. Probably the worst of the bunch. <laughs> I couldn't even. Finish. I couldn't even <laughs> couldn't do it with a straight face. Have, okay, so since this release. How many decks have you played against that didn't have it in? I don't think any. Right? I was the one that right? was like on the fence for a while. I was like, I don't know. I really love Nisei, and I need the three, the five for threes, and I I thought Fetal AI was better. I was wrong. Like <laughs> it's just this card is so incredibly. I, I, I'm trying to think back to a deck that I've played recently that hasn't had it in there, and I can't think of a time. I can't. It's probably, 
Like if we were to give well, some of a those card a rating of perfect, decks. it would probably be <laughs> as, as close to perfect yeah. as possible. Yeah, right. Some of those med techs when it's the when you're just going three pointers. Yeah, but again. Yeah, but even in no even in those decks, like the the four for two decks, like with with Nisi's, NAPDs, and Fetals, like those ones were really good yeah. too. So I, I I don't know if there's anything really to dwell on about NAPD contract. Um, this is a card that as soon as it was released, it saw play. It saw play currently, and will continue to see play. Through the next cycle. I love um, creating scoring windows with this thing. Like, oh. it's just so versatile. Yeah. It's like, well, I have an NAPD in my hand and an EC. I want to create a scoring window for myself. I'm playing Replicating Profession. I'll put the NAPD in the archives, let them run it, they'll take it, and then I score a an Nisi, and they're yeah. like, oh, that was yeah. such a bad trade. It's like, it's, like a wee, it's like a wee mini vamp on the side, you know what yeah. I mean, for free. Just get rid of their money. Yeah, it's oh, uh, so good. You know, if if you're smart, you can pick up on the on, on what their fun levels are like. Um, put this down behind a very cheap piece of ice, advance it once, and if by some miracle they jump in and take it, whoop de woo. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, it's better this than everything else in your deck. Yeah. Like better if they're gonna take something, let them take this. Yeah, if you want to rush, yeah, you're like you're like install ice wall, install this, put a token on it. Yeah, go. Yeah. There's it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. That scenario. Because then they're 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 playing. Uh, what is it? Six dollars for their inside job. <laughs> <laughs> right. So good. So amazing. Hmm. Um. So that's your agenda suite. Um. Very well scaled out. Neutrals. Very diverse abilities. Um. Let's get into the the ice here. We have one of each type. And we'll start with Grim. This is a Century. Now you say the next one. Destroyer. Elect. <laughs> That's not how we practiced it. <laughs> it's a listen, okay? We've been we've been informed. Thank you, Fantasy Flight. We mispronounced your words. The crazy words that you put on your cards that nobody else uses in their life. Elicit. Listen. <laughs> You're probably gonna get a couple of comments about that one if we're if we're to nitpick those eyes and l's look identical well if we're to nitpick when we get to the uh <clears throat> the, what is it, the second one there don't worry they me. made their own wee little spelling mistake there didn't they yeah S we, you can wait yeah wait it out um so grim um we're gonna internet fight fantasy it's play the, <laughs> is that what we're gonna do yep get ready the gloves are <clears> off i think they should make a piece of ice just called a licked <laughs> <laughs> and it just gives you a, like a crap ton of bad publicity. <laughs> yeah, and and the uh, the the text, the flavor text at the bottom is just the most the worst grammar you can ever imagine. Yeah, yeah. On a card, and then at the end it says a, <laughs> nice <laughs> like the Canadian style. <laughs> You've been hosed, a. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take some bad pop, hoser. Net runner on Hose blue. Head. It's yeah. coming. Um. So grim. Uh. Saw it very early in the cycle, yep. and saw play immediately, and still shows its face around from yep. time to time. I feel like it was really strong at the beginning, and then kind of like teetered off a little bit, and then it was like, nope, we like Grim again! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Destroyers are... Uh, yeah, good. you know, one subroutine, taking the bad pub and uh, destroying a program, um... Strength five though, really. Uh... Oh, it's so bad. But that—that's—that's that's why it's so—it's so formidable. Because I mean, like a roto turret. Because this and roto turret, it's you know you're springing it as a trap. You know, here it goes. It's gonna work once, and that's basically yeah, yeah. it. But this one, you spring it, works once. It's expensive as crap to keep getting through, yeah. right? And it's and it does the same thing. So I'm of the opinion that rezzing for five and a strength, strength five, five anything is already a is deal. Good. Yeah. Because you know that they're gonna have to pump. X I mean, amount even of if we take into even if we take into consideration that they have the bad pub, so we'll we'll reduce the strength to four. four. Like that's the worst case scenario. So it's a five for four. It's still so Destroyer. good. Just yeah, yeah. It can definitely catch you uh, if you're not prepared for it. If you don't have the cash, um, you'll be pantsed yeah. a couple times. Oh yeah. And the art is phenomenal. This is probably my favorite artist. Mm -hmm. Really good century. Um, 
so happy it was neutral, everyone got a, uh, a piece of the pie. The barrier that was neutral was, uh, it came out like a fireball. Strong. Fireball. So yeah. strong out of the gate. And I don't see it that much anymore at all. Um, I think because the card after it mm. made it redundant. Yeah, man. Touche. Um, this is Paper Wall. A res for zero, strength one. Um, do you want to get your dig in? Um, do you want to read this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if all subroutines on Paper Wall are broken, yeah, they, they put a little spelling mistake. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. I didn't catch it for the longest time, and he called me and told me about it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, anyway. these are going to be the uh, limited edition. Uh, yeah, yeah. They would have definitely corrected it for any further printing. Spelling but, mistake, paper walls. Yeah, but it's uh, it's just it's super solid. Mm -hmm. I mean, res for zero, strength is zero, strength of one, and then end the run. So I mean, back they're... back when this came out, it was like everybody yeah. and their mother had ice wall. Yes, back. they were all splashing for ice wall. <laughs> now now like... you're saving three influence and yeah. putting this in the deck, right? Because it's then... the same thing. Once you can break an ice wall, like it's not a taxing yeah. no, 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 by no, any no. stretch yeah. of the imagination. Um, I never saw anybody try and manipulate it. You know, with the um, with the Jinteki cards and stuff like that that add subroutines to it. Because all of those cards are no, but you know what? Yeah, I, I know because it was. Um, but uh, this is just like a totally expanding on the discussion, right? Because it says when all subroutines. Yeah. So keep adding the, more end runs. You know, whatever. so if if yeah. you were if you had multiple subroutines on here somehow through another ice that gives that, you know that person now has to break all of those to be, able, and then it's trash. Yeah. At a dollar a piece. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing great. Just because no, the strength's so low anyway. But it was right? it was basically just used as the uh, a tr like a fast advance. Yeah. Popper, right? Like find your corroder or bust. Yeah. yeah. But now. Uh so paper wall, like I don't know how I I don't know what the life of this card is gonna be right now. It's uh it's kind of it's kind of gone its way and I don't know if it's gonna gonna come back. Uh that's really really hard to say. Uh, the focus is really shifted to taxing ice, right? Yeah, I mean, right, right now that's the huge. Yeah, and this is this just falls shake. short. And again, it's but just yeah, like you said, point. I mean, the next card. Yeah. So Put it to bed. the next card here was the Code Gate. That's Quandry, a one zero end run. Uh, that's cost install cost or uh, res cost of one. Yeah. Put it strength right to bed. zero. Um, this is the one I guess that everyone did migrate off paper wall for and uh, and jump to. Because I guess more people would <laughs> rather have you search for a yog. Than a, <laughs> yep, than it's a like I paid a dollar. Go find your yog. <laughs> That's the worst part of it. I love the picture and the subroutine. <laughs> it just, I just love the. Mm. I love the theme of this game. Like it just, it screams theme. You know what I mean? Although I have this feeling now that um, Quandry is going to be burned out. I think more people are going to go back to Worm. I agree. Enigma. Worm is. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but is that an icebreaker? I believe that's a program, yes. Yes. Um, I think more people are going to go back to... Uh, now I'm lost. Enigma, because with the with Lotus Field and stuff like that, I think code gates are going to be a lot more prevalent, and, and this might get broken a lot a lot quicker, but... That's just that's just my, my thinking right now. There's I, also that, that Genteki build that's going to come up with... Uh, that um oh the code gate it, it, yeah the all code gate deck yeah. get ready for that monster <laughs> can't wait for that deck um do you guys want to say anything else about quandary nope solid i mean as of now it's very heavily used yeah again it's the same thing as the napd contract very difficult to find a deck that doesn't have quandaries in it mm -hmm. yep. um moving on into the operations this was the uh the, the interesting mix here first up is cyberdex trial this is a card that I think needed to exist, but uh, man, did I not see anyone use it? No, I think by the time uh, noise kind of teetered out by the time this card came out. Actually, I'm pretty sure it came out the same, if not the same faction as Jack or the same pack as Jackson Howard, if not this the same, but the next mm. one. Uh, Purge virus counters. With one click, zero dollars. 
Zero credits. Um, keep saying dollars. Do you think we're going to see this show its head more in the lunar cycle because we have that card that trashes when it lamprey? Yeah. Um, when viruses are purged? Maybe we do. Um, I just think that like it's too situational. Th no, the game is in a state right now, in my opinion, where again taxing ice is kind of kind of the thing and like you have more room to breathe as the corp you know what i mean you're not trying to rush out behind quandaries and, and your turns aren't so finite that you need to do something every turn so like for me i'm playing repl taxing replicating perfection so it's just like when it gets out of control i don't mind spending the the three clicks yeah because you got to remember it's a click to draw this a click to play it like and it's a spot in your deck just throw yeah. the extra click on top of it that's and not what run it. that's what kills it for me is that the extra spot in the deck because you can purge counters without a card that's what kills it and especially since there's as it stands right now basically only um anarchs and then a, a couple of choice splash cards that do take uh virus tokens they tried to introduce it into shaper into criminal by giving them like gorman drip and what's the other there's a shaper card takes virus counters and stuff too and then you see, you dig a card uh, or something, I can't remember, but it's, they tried to make it more useful, but sure, it's just not. Right? It just reminds it's me of those uh, those hoser cards from Magic, you know what I mean? Like the Circle of Power yeah. white, or circle, circle, of protection. circle of Protection white, yeah. it's just like, yeah, okay, like, it screws over that faction, yeah. not every faction. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, it's like uh, it's so hard to include it, because it, I don't know, just feels off. I agree with Jameson, though, it does need to exist. Yes. Like, it needs to be in the game, mm. and it's a good card. Like, it, it does exactly what you want. If you want to purge virus counters, that's the card. Yeah, there you go. Right? Yeah, if, you're, if your meta is heavy virus, it's, you know, if you've been playing against your friend and you can get, like, 15 median tokens on you or something. I just, I just wish <laughs> it was, was like... You? Was that you? Was that you? <laughs> I just wish it was, like, a card that was, like, almost like a Jackson Howard type where this ability was tacked on to a card that you can trash. You know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, like, you know. So it had, like, a sub power? Uh, like, right? what's, so, his, what's his name? So it was, uh, Jackson Howard? it's like, it's like no, something, um, it's, it, it, like, does something, like Raymond Flint? Flint. Um, yeah. It does something, and then, say, trash to, uh, Yeah, trash to Purge Virus Purge, counters. purge counters. Yeah. Something like that. Like, that's, that, I think, is a card that, people might use but as as it stands unless you're like meta is strong viruses which i doubt it is like mm. could very well be i just don't think cyberdex trials is going to be great and you got to plan for every situation that's the point of a card game right and we're not saying this card is bad on its merits we're just saying like are you going to need it that much yeah, yeah. it's like if you could justify it 50 percent of the time maybe put it in your deck but it's it's not it's, mm. it's so one in three chance yeah. and Anarchs like, are pretty and, low. And like you said, especially right since you have the ability to do the action without a card. Yeah. It's a lot more expensive, but whatever, so be it. It didn't cost me a slot, right? Uh, the next up is a transaction operation that's restructure. You know, you, it's going to cost you 10 credits, but you're going to gain 15. Five? No, oh, it says gain 15. Cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm reading the card. I'm yeah. not doing the... The math, yeah, yeah, but I was that you're was looking my at me, you're looking at me, throw like, it to you to start it off. Okay, man. I just like before, I don't like it. I'm not going to get too into it. I mean, I'd much rather have a hedge fund. I mean, it's it's double the investment to get one more dollar out for this one, so I don't love it. It works really well in like Grendel. It works really well in in certain um, decks that are built to have just be sitting on a ton of cash. But when you're floating, when you're just getting by or trying to prevent uh, your money from going uh, by the wayside, then it's hard to include this. I mean, how many, uh, tons of you out there probably use it, got your opening hand, got, oh look, a restructure, and you can't use the bloody thing until like four turns into the game. And even then it just gains you five bucks, right? When you much would rather had a hedge fund, or anything else for that yeah. matter. Um, I think it's a good card. I think the, the ability to have it if your deck needs it and can use it is, is a great bonus. Um... I don't think there's. I don't have anything else more to say about restructure. Is that it's there. I I love the card, um, but uh, now that uh, mental health care fundraisers out, that's the. There's there's just other ways like to mm. make money. Like I think this came out in the second pack. If I wasn't and, playing Genteki, I would still play this card. But because I'm in faction, it doesn't cost me any influence to run my fundraiser. Then yeah, that's the thing. But it's, I know a lot of people don't mm. like that card either. It's uh, 
it's nice that the, the numbers you know you crunch the numbers and, and, it, and it's sitting where it needs to be it gain, gains you five bucks if you use it in Wayland you're getting your six you know your six your extra transaction if you're worried about account siphon though being really heavy in your meta this might be a card to rethink putting in your deck because it's not it's it's gonna be a pain being account siphoned and then drawing this so that's restructure so we have two operations left um, we have the double which is interns, right? Uh, zero to play, install a card from archives or HQ, ignoring the install cost. Let's pass the talking stick. <laughs> I love interns. I use two copies in my uh, my replicating perfection deck. Um, nothing more annoying to a runner when they run through a piece of ice in my central, then run my sundew, trash it, and then I spend two clicks to throw it back in play. And then you do that two or three times, they stop running your sundews. <laughs> Uh, this card is gold. It's the only, like, and I love Archive Memories. I actually splash for two. So I have two Archive Memories and two interns in my deck, and unless I can find another way to fit another Archive Memories in, interns is just, like, it's, all, it's always good. And it's with four for two agendas, too, you can hide, you can have a Jackson in play, have a couple agendas in your, in your archives, and if they're not running the archives, you can still, um, for me, what I use is Nisi. If Nisi's in my archives, I intern the Nisi into play and then put a token on it. And then next turn, you create a scoring window. So it's it's good. Like there's, I, 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 I almost always find a reason for it. And I mean, if you're using, and I'm using Sundews as my good asset economy, but now we're talking about like Hospiroid running, you know, Eves and Adonis. Like eventually that's going to be, they're going to spend too much trashing it and once you put three or four back in play for yeah. interns or whatever like you're just you're laughing coming from the nbn side of things like there's probably got to be wizard aside there's got to be nothing more frustrating for a runner than them you know breaking through your your super server and trashing your sand sand with their last dollar and then you're like yeah it's back in you yeah. know what i mean so yeah i can't think of a faction that that can't just directly benefit from this. You know what I mean? So, segueing into my points from that is, I think every faction benefits from interns, and I'm surprised to see that nobody is really running it. I don't see interns out there at all. Um, I mean, I, I experimented with it in NBN, um, reoccurring sand sands, um, pulling out... Um, uh, the marked accounts, you know, just high trash c costs that, you know, are just bummers when they get trashed. Yeah. But then it eventually, I, I know it's a struggle sometimes to, to slot it in. Um, but I was I feel, really, I, I was feel really like it surprised. doesn't work as, as well with the higher, the higher trash stuff because to get a sand sand back, it's, no, I agree, but you're always going to have three Sand Sands, you know what I mean? And you have the Jackson Howards, but I mean, like, when we're talking about, like, marked accounts and stuff like that, like, I wouldn't be too... Like, if... My deck my deck needed marked accounts. Um, I just... I mean, I'm of the... Impro I, I, I think that if you're going to have economy in your deck, which you generally do, you're going to have an equal amounts asset and an equal amounts... Uh, burst economy now and that's just how I feel like most people play and like like I said uh, like you, yeah you can return your your very important assets like yours is sand sand mine is sundew but there's also that play that you can hide the agendas from the guy who's going to run your hand all the time and then install and, and create a scoring window mm -hmm. which is very, huge, uh, very I, huge I think there's a lot of different plays right like we only just touching on on those cards you're also you know, able to pull back um, or install from your hand, right? Like uh, traps, uh, agendas, um, your your asset economy. You know, anything that you you want to get down quickly, or something that you pulled up, or yeah, it creates bluffs too. Like if you have that window, they've already hit the snare, and you draw the snare back, or you know that there's an agenda in the archives and they know it too, you can pull the agenda back, install, and then, but you actually install the snare, like, it's just, like, as as a game, 
like part of this game is bluffing and secrets and all that jazz and this mm. this card just hits yeah hits it's, you, know, you know especially mark. with some of those new um right like the new tricks uh you just never know what's going on right like there's the plan b's and yep. mishi no shinners and just you know there's a lot of uses for interns that just haven't been explored yet i don't think and i think it's one of the if not most underrated card here that is just you know sad to say it always falls to the cut list when probably building I decks. don't I don't think it falls to the cut list I think if anybody is really willing to put interns in their deck they're gonna look more closely at archive memories that's what I did um, the only reason two interns are in my deck is because I couldn't find the influence for the third I archive memory but once I get the three in there I probably won't have it. I probably won't have one of these in, right? I just, I don't know. If you feel the need to recur, and that's a really important ability, then, aside from like an all-asset deck or whatever, it's just like, I can see why people don't play it. I'm just saying, like, I play it, and I absolutely love it. It's just one of those cards that I'm just like, I draw it in my hand, and I'm like, this is gonna be useful. Like, it might not be useful immediately. Generally, it always is. Right? But an archive memories is always useful. Mm -hmm. Like, always, always. Interns? Sid? Said my piece, mm -hmm. man. What do, you, what do you think that's going forward? About interns? It's, it's always going to see play. I think that... I think you're right. It, it doesn't see as much play as it probably really should. I mean, if people just, like, took... Just found a way just to add even, like, one. Or, or just the two to their deck. Mm -hmm. They would find it so useful because then they you know they just like you they draw it and they go oh oh yeah i can yeah. i can do all this again it right a lot. yeah there's so, very few cards in this game that that do that yeah. like especially as the corp that are like like you're looking at one card and you're like i can do this 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 or this you know what i mean yeah it's not like an agenda like an agenda you draw and you're like okay, okay i need to find a way score. to score this yeah. and ice you're like i'm gonna install this but this you're like possibilities yeah. this has possibilities yeah. and, and, and it will save your butt in a pinch yeah. even a pinch. you know like even though you do have Jackson, like you said, like there is that able to get things back, but those cards are going back in, shuffled, who knows when I'm going to see them again. Mm -hmm. This is like, I need that Adonis back in play. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, there you go. The um, most obscure thing that ever happened was uh, playing against Noise Mill, and I was having like no ice, right? Like nothing good. I already had a, a, a pretty good nest egg built up there, but he was running really, really tight in his cash, and I was just like, oh yeah. So... In turns out, grab a piece of ice and installed it without paying any of the cost, right? So it goes right to the tip of the pile without having to pay all the mess to get up there, and then I could I could mm, res it on the next yeah. turn, right? So stop them dead from winning the game. Like things like that mm. happen, and they would be impossible to do anything about unless you had something like this. In your deck. And I think um, going into the lunar cycle, you might want to take a second look at interns because I think the the flow of the game is going more horizontal. So, you, you know, rather than that one or two remotes that people were working with before, you might want to get some of that asset economies or installs into your other, you know, like you said, ice. Oh, they've trashed my ice somehow. Get my big ice guy back out yeah. there. And I was listening to Corp Draw on the way up here, the new Corp Draw episode, and, and they were talking about... Um, if you're going to have asset economy, you're probably going to want more ice in your deck. Whereas I think the exact opposite. I would rather have a card that's more, not that they're wrong by any means, like that's a good play. Um, but my play is, I, in my Replicating Perfection, I create one server that I'm going to score behind, and then I throw out Sundews and Mental Health Clinics on, on their own, bare, and then this is my way to protect them. But I don't, I let them run them because I, I want to tax them. I let them pay all their credits because that's awesome for me, terrible for them. Um, and then this card is my, is my way to protect them, like to keep them in play. Um, and I would rather have this than more ice that I can use. Cause I find everybody gets that to the point in the game where they're drawing and they've already got enough ice. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's not about installing and protecting. It's about how do I score now? So there's always times that you're just holding on to ice or trashing ice or whatever, but drawing an intern's late game can be, can be 
game changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Noise is another huge thing because noise likes to make those yeah. glory runs, yeah. right? Let them trash it and you're just like interns, bang, advance. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're yeah. finding the agendas for you. Yeah, and I never even thought to do that to pull it out and stick it in advance at once and you know what I mean? I'm telling you right now, like I didn't think of it when I put it in my deck, but the time that I the first time I did it, I felt like a god. Yeah. I was like I am doing something that nobody's ever done before, yeah, and this is genius. It's not just that, you do it to the NAPD contract to put the token on, and then instead of them having to run through like one piece of ice to get to your archive and pay the four bucks, now they gotta get through whatever ungodly thing you've put in front of Because there'll be times remote, that right? you'll put the NAPD in your archives to make it like a trap, yeah. right? But then eventually, eventually... You might, you might want it. Yeah, you could yeah. just be like, oh no, it's time to score it, and yeah. then yeah, it's, that could be the game card, right? Yeah. Key, it really uh, hurts keyhole too because keyhole they want to do. They take one away and you put mm -hmm. one back, right? Yeah, and it's instant. Like I said, it's not like with Jackson where everything's going back in, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, very good card. Like I said, very underrated. Uh, the last one we have here is the Gray Ops. Um, very hyped card. Subliminal messaging. Gain a dollar, gain a click. If you've not played another subliminal messaging this turn, and it should say in parentheses here. If the runner did not make a run, you get to take it back, if you remember. Yeah, if you remember. <laughs> right, that should have been the flavor text or something. I always, like, play them right in front of me like that. I'm just like, yeah, I got a subliminal message again. Like, play them like a bad campaign, basically. You know, uh, so many times I've played against this, and somebody's forgotten to, uh, to pull it out, or uh, even when it first came out and I was playing it, I guilty of a couple turns later oh crap i have a subliminal messaging here yeah. it's not as bad as the guy who forgot to do his ian sterling all t the whole time at the <laughs> the hairy tarantula that tournament. Sucks. i never played him that but that would i been... apologize to you who i played at harry t but you forgot to use your ian sterling and i wasn't gonna say anything <laughs> i knew it i i'd have told you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so subliminal messaging, um, it was pretty controversial, it had its ups and downs, um, it, it didn't come, it didn't come like gangbusters out, but there was a lot of people that, that adopted subliminal messaging, um, right away, and then that number is kind of cut in half, and if you use yeah. it, you're still kind of, you know, having one, one of, you know, I don't think you're running three of these things, but, um, it, obviously, it's a nice card, you know. If you can, if you can grab it together, uh, you know, maybe it works well in uh, Tenant Institute, where you, you know, now you're, you know, you're getting two bonuses when somebody doesn't make a run. It's definitely a good card. Like if this came out in the core set, it would have saw an insane oh, amount yeah. of Oh yeah. Oh man. But it's just like right now we're like we're to the point where we're like I mean I'm Gen Techie. I came from having no economy at all to being like spoiled beyond yeah, belief yeah, yeah. with cards and it's just like I just can't justify having a slot because like I mean even my worst economy card which is mental health fundraiser is like leaps and bounds better than this card in my yeah. opinion so this I saw um you tried it out for for a little while there and, and um it was pretty neat and I didn't see it for the longest time after that because I don't think any of us the rest of us really tried it out too much but then at the uh Regionals. Tenet? I saw it. Did yeah. you see it in a tenant deck? No, I never played a tenant deck, but I saw it twice. Hmm. Two different decks using yeah, it. I was, I was like, oh, it's kind of neat. Yeah. I've, I've seen it spotty. Um, I just think I because because everybody uses Tally Peralta, this card gets just kind of nerfed right off the bat. Yeah. Like Tally, what? Tally Peralta. The Anarch card. That yeah. Everybody I, bad sometimes I don't know if you're joking or if you're serious, but. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it's because I say things with conviction, yeah. that's why. So. Although sometimes I think maybe you won't see it, because I don't think you should be running three. I think, you know, if, if you're running one of and, 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 it, and, you get it. and you get it, it's it's a good little economy, little yeah. engine that's, that's, uh, that's running. You know, two would be almost a stretch, because then it, your, your, your deck slot you're is... You're watering your deck down. Yeah. It, you, you have to have that deck that you want people to run. You know what I mean? Like... It's like you want them to run even when it's not the best choice. Yeah. And this is that card. It's just like, I don't know. I don't agree with it being in Tenant Institute because, like, if there's one of these, like, just the Tenant ability alone might not make me want to just waste a click running archives or whatever. But this card, 
stacked like you know like the compensation of all of that makes me want to run it yeah i just think in like but then then it could, if you we're could talking be about them into if we're situations. talking about like like uh nord runner's new brain damage Genteki deck like that's a that's a deck where he wants you to run he wants to flatline you he wants you to run so subliminal messaging might be uh might be the play the play for that deck could i don't like it though Oh, it's if the runner did not make a run, though. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So he wants them to run. Yeah, you're baiting them. So you, yeah, you put it out. I mean, if, is is them gaining a dollar enough to make me, you know, run foolhardy into something? I'm like, ah, no, probably not, right? Yeah, but I'm there could be three, up. and it could be a dollar for the next three turns. Mm. Like it could, that could be yeah. pie campaigns for the next three turns. Could be. I'm not. Mm. I don't like it. Yeah, I know. I, I saw it. I was like, this is pretty cool. Like it's a cool mechanic, but I never used it. Again, I. I'm very happy that it's there in a neutral form. I mean, subliminal messaging, you could have think that it themed well with NBN and controlling the media or something like that and maybe been in a, a, an NBN form. But to have this available freely all over the place, I, I was happy to see that and I, I did try it out everywhere. Um, it's... Uh, it's it's a very interesting card once it once it gets up and going. It makes the runner make a choice that maybe they don't want to make. Um, you, you know, sometimes that dollar or that credit is exactly what the corporation needs at that time. You know, or yeah. so free money ain't bad. Yeah, at the end of the day, you can't argue with free money. It's just deck slots. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so on a whole. Um, I, I think this was a, was a great set for neutrals. I think very, like I said, very diverse uh, card pool of of neutral abilities that kind of it fit all over the place um, and can really change a faction's play style if if included. Um, you want to start with me again? No, uh, no, or no. I just before you give your rankings, like just saying closing thoughts and my closing thoughts is this is probably the strongest um, little group of cards that we've rated. I'm gonna give this five. I think like you know you have your your. But there's some cards here that might not see play. So if we're gonna weigh it on a scale, <laughs> then uh, um, these guys, eh? No, it's, it's like just they're enemies of logic. <laughs> is what they are. Uh, I think that at the end of the day, <laughs> there's a good logic. amount of balance. I'm a guy that likes <laughs> balance. So, you know, we got some really cheap, we got like on every scale, we got some really kind of, um, you know, profiteering is a really risky card that could benefit you a lot. And NAPD is a very safe card. So that, that's the, they counterbalance. Grim is a, an expensive ice and paper wall and quandary are low, low ice and they're, and they're useful for everybody. So that balances out we got re restructure and subliminal messing it's the same they're both going to do the same thing over time but you know one you need ten dollars to start off with and the other one could gain you way more for nothing um and i think the i mean interns and napd contracts napd contracts is probably one of the best cards in the game right now and interns is probably one of my favorite cards so this set as a whole i think is Probably perfect. Over to you, sir. Okay. So you know, you see, you gave a five then. So for me, uh, there's because there are cards in here that again aren't, aren't going to see use or or super super rarely going to see use. Yeah, right there. I think there's and two. Yeah. Even, yeah, even like yeah, because Veterans Program and Cyberdex Trail are kind of like no goes. Paperwall could be on the borderline now. Paperwall yeah, right, and profiteering right. are actually both on the border. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at a four, and a solid four, not teetering towards three. This is a solid four. I, I can. Because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I eight, think nine, your ten. ratings got, are always solid, aren't they? Well, we got yeah. Well, I guess so. Because this this is eight out of ten right here. I just think at the end of the day, like NAPD, Quandary, Grim, and Interns, not even Restructure. Like Restructure aside, I I agree that Restructure and Subliminal Messaging are used like a lot. But those four cards, Grim, Quandary, NAPD, and Interns, are like powerhouses. Very tight, very tight. Powerhouses. Yeah. Almost every NBN deck runs uh, Quandary. Quandary. Every deck that's not Hosbyroid that wants to kill crap puts in Grim. 
Every deck could benefit from interns, and every deck runs an APD. Yeah. I was very happy with the uh, the selection here as well. I think uh, I think overall you're looking at a four. Um, it's uh, this is a very strong set. A lot of good choices here. Um, you know, makes you wonder uh, if any of these cards during playtesting, if they are from another faction, and they and they became washed out. But, Perfect ending. Um, so there it is, guys. Uh, thanks a bunch. Let us know what you see below, and or let us know your thoughts below. Throw up some comments. Let's. Uh, have you ever been um, keep the discussion going? Have you ever been cyberdexed? Like cyberdexed, or had the cyberdex and been like, "Man, so glad I have this card." <laughs> <laughs> Why are they French? <laughs> so glad I have this card. Was that, was that a French accent? Yeah, you were super French there. Mm. Well, we are from Canada. It's yeah. our second language. But there's like a yeah, I know, such a small pocket of people that speak it mm. still. So, um, guys, thanks again for your times. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, show your appreciation back. If you could subscribe, that would be great. See you next time. Yeah, you know, one click of the button for you, like 500 bucks for us, so that's cool. All right. God, I wish that was true. <laughs>